Welcome to a how-to video on creating a character for Sentinels of Freedom. Now this game is based in our Sentinels universe where Sentinels of the Multiverse exists, Sentinel Comics exists, the upcoming tabletop game Sentinels Comics RPG or SCRPG is coming and for this game most importantly Sentinels of Freedom, the single player game that allows you to take a team of heroes and fulfill that superhero fantasy. We're going to get right into how to make and click OK on this. Now if you've done the prologue before, you can choose to skip the prologue to get right to the screen, otherwise you'll be playing a prologue just to get the feel of the game. And there are a few things to take note of before we jump in and start selecting powers and looks. The first is this key down here. Action points, health points are pretty standard, but special points, certain abilities like my character's ability to summon creatures use special points and those are very important to generate. There's also initiative and sync. Initiative determines the order of activation. Sync allows fellow teammates can do uh, entrance abilities. And when you see heroes help each other out, heal, grant each other AP on the field, that's their sync ability, that the team is syncing up, and certain heroes sync up better than others. Uh, we have theme, collection of abilities available to use in combat, vigilance, free actions triggered by opponent's actions, and support, abilities which enhance or weaken other characters. So think of theme as your active abilities, vigilance as your reaction abilities, and support as your heal or white mage abilities. And of course we have damage, dealing damage, hit uh, affects the chance of hitting the target, and move the distance a character can travel per action point. I'm not going to get into themes right away, there are several themes to go through. Rather, I'm going to start with our background of our character. Real quick though, if you want to check out the background of this channel, we do lots of gameplay, we do lots of how-tos, and a few reviews. If that's the type of content you like, maybe consider subscribing to get more content just like this. And if you're feeling particularly generous, maybe give the video a like. We always love that. Now let's get right back to this. You can see it starts us out with a background of adventure. And what backgrounds do is they offer a variety of passive stat adjustments. So we can do the adventurer, we can do medical, and if you've watched any videos on the SCRPG that's coming out, you're going to see that a lot of these sound familiar, almost as if they've been using the exact same terms, even though they have different effects. And I love that the two worlds can mash up like that. The world of playing with your friends and then coming home and playing this game to have an absolute blast with the Sentinels universe. We can see that if we have a medical background, you were in the business of healing, you were a doctor or a nurse. And you might think, well, maybe that's not enough, but we can throw in a second background. And if we have a tragic, we have a vigilance radius and a vigilance chance. And so much of this, so let's go ahead. We have a medical background, but we were a former villain, maybe an evil uh, doctor or something like that. Here we have our personality, and this is just another way for our character to act. Uh, but it also provides those same bonuses. So if we have Lone Wolf, you can see we absolutely do not work with anyone else. But we have an increased uh, vigilance radius for both front and sides. Uh, if someone sneaks up behind us, of course, we have no one to watch our back. So that doesn't work out so well. Except we can uh, counter that with a variety of backgrounds. So let's go ahead and go with Mischievous. We were a former villain, after all maybe a bit arrogant so we have a smaller vigilant radius and this is important when we're building this because we're going to want to choose themes later and those might have vigilance chances so we might also choose something that gives us a better survivability better chance to move first all sorts of things impulsive so we are mischievous and impulsive that's how we became the former villain and you know what? i'm going to actually um, change this so that we're a bit of a trickster. We don't go uh, unremarkable. Uh, we don't um, go as quickly. But you can see if we were to combine unremarkable with lone wolf, 
we would have a very large vigilance chance. And then let's talk about our super uh, power. We have a few things. Uh, we, how did we get our power? Uh, is it genetics? Is it genius? I'm going to say definitely genius. We have less health but more action points. Very valuable. And then let's go ahead and, you know, we are unknown or accident. Let's say, ooh, we could be an artificial being, cosmos. Uh, but I'm going to actually say all we are is the genius. I'm happy with that. So we have the background, the personality, the power source. All that goes into what type of hero you're playing. Maybe you want to take a hero that you've played in the real world and build them here. Uh, maybe you want to take a hero that you've played in comics or that you've read about in comics and b play the, or build them here. The background personality and power source is pretty uh, lenient in how you create your character. And of course, it's all up to you. Now, following that, we are going to want to eventually get to our powers. Uh, because, of course, if we're going to have... The heaviest melee attack or a wave attack if we're gonna do aura attacks we want to know exactly how we do that but first we want to make sure that we look good doing it so here we have a number of choices we have the uh, cores and so we can choose masculine and feminine and the next we have our different voices each gender has four choices we have a number of hairstyles. We can do faux, lo undercut long, and a variety of uh, definitely uh, things that we can work on. And you can see that if we were to go masculine, the hairstyles are available to both genders, which is definitely a good thing. And then we have our different skin tones. We can go red alien if we want. We can go blue. Uh, we can go all sorts of skin tones, and there we go. Uh, for hair, we have the same color palettes, and you'll notice that some colors are missing that would be there on armor. For instance, there's a much deeper black available for um, the armor than there is for the hairstyle, and I think they wanted to go with something that could work with their hair sheen up there. And then we have our highlights. And so let's actually have that and then a brighter green. And I think I think well I like a lot of these. We could go with the fro. And I think we're going to go with that. So then we go uh, theme. I will say you can see that we can undo everything we've done. We can go tech. We can go default. We can go minimal or super suit or super suit as the theme. Uh, we can get variety of helmets, a lot of which will again undo any hairstyles that you do. Uh, so we're going to leave that as none. For eyes. I think that a mask is absolutely appropriate. How are we going to do that? Though We could go with tech eyes. We could go with a demon mask. I like the demon mask, but I don't like the colors. So we will go ahead and change them now. And we are... I, ooh, I like the red. Uh, we can do a black right there. And have the accent be a white. And I actually really like that. And that's going to affect everything that we do. Now up here you can see that we can add to the hair that we've done we have a bun uh, we can, I'm gonna do that since it mixes as well I like the front I like the back uh, for the top we can do even more and that is just ridiculous okay uh, we have the red mohawk the tech and you know, I don't mind that so much, but I'm I'm, I'm going to get grief for that. We're going to go with the baseball hat, I think. And actually, because of how it looks, we're going to just say no to that. So there we go. 
We have a baseball cap. Um, yeah, let's let's move on here. We have a number of options with the super suit, as it were. And I'm going to go ahead and go with that. We have a variety of things we can select from. I think the jacket open is great. And we can still put a customization onto the armor and such. So let's hurry up and uh, select this. We're going to choose elementals for that just to give a tighter feel, I think. And then move on to the legs. And here we have those same themes. We can do street slim. We can do street loose. And I think that's what we're going to go with. And seeing this, I'm actually going to change the colors around. And we're going to have that. And then we're going to accent it with a bit of gold. Uh, cowboy boots, fancy work shoes. Work boots, I like the work boots. For cargo pants, we're going to go jeans just for a better look. And, you know, let's grab maybe a blue jeans look. So she is definitely giving me the feel of some security. I think this is rather great. And now we go to the here. We have the hero color. This affects her outline and a variety of things which we're going to talk about right after we talk about the character powers. So this is what you've been waiting for. The themed powers. We have a number of options. You're going to choose three. Uh, your first two you'll have right away. Uh, you can have minions, uh, disposable and endless. You have your own minions fight for you. Companion, shooter, interceptor, blast, tank, support, leader, melee, mobile melee, and combos. So with this, I think think that we're going to want to have her be a blaster. Uh, for that, that's going to be her up close. She is going to be able to intercept my, um, well, I'm going to have her be leadership as her second, but definitely uh, some mobile melee for her third. And there are a couple of things I want to look at right here. So looking at the right hand side, so in the start of your round, with when you're blaster, you're going to gain one SP. Then ray or ray shot, medium range line attack, double wave shot, uh, or uh, is gonna do a double attack and flashbang short ray or short range large blast that reduces enemy's chance to hit for a short time. And we're gonna see that that is a support. That last one, the other two are attacks. For leadership, we have one attack, three supports, and here we actually have our first vigilance. So we can go a pretty low vigilance on our character if that's what we want. Uh, leaping attack, charge attack, and we can do all sorts of things. We can change this up so that we have a power melee that says retaliation. We can have, oops, we can have a minion build so that we get minions to support us. And then we can be a tank for our last one. And that brings us to exactly how these look. Because you'll note that suddenly I have minions. Which is really, really fun. So, we get to choose the style. And the style is going to select our item. So, are we a martial artist fighter? And you see we have bare fists or blue power fists. Are we hand-to-hand -hand fighter? Are we going to be a melee weapon and have any number of weapons available to us? We have a sci-fi sword, a sci-fi split sword. Um, and are the effects, how are they going to look? Is it just going to be physical, uh, pink charges? We could do all sorts of things. But also, just as importantly for us, we're going to color code our ability. So power melee is going to be red and you know with that let's go ahead and do a sci-fi axe i like the feel of that now for our minions we have two options here tech minions and you can see we have a variety of minions there or elemental minions and let's go ahead and have that be blue um, you can have dual pistols because it is of course something that is range or you can just you know, cast from your hands. 
I'm going to do one-handed, and we're going to do a uh, retro pistol, which honestly doesn't look at all retro. No, sci-fi retro, sorry. Uh, pistol sci-fi, we're going to be good with that. And finally, we have our hand-to-hand -hand fighter, where we will, or our tank, where we will be a martial artist fighter. Fight with blue power fists and orange shots, and we'll make that green. For whatever reason, we've made that green. Our color coordination isn't at all on point. And so that is the robustness of this. There are some limitations, of course. We can't just input our own powers. But this basically covers the three roles that we'll want to fulfill. Do we want to be a minion summoner, work with gadgets, companions, shooters, be an interceptor, be a blaster, be a tank? <clears throat> Excuse me, put it. Do we want to be a tank, uh, be a support, be leadership, power melee, mobile melee, or combos? There's so much here to work with. And remember, this just covers your hero. There's all sorts of heroes to work with who have entirely different power sets available that have been themed around their characters in the Sentinel Comics universe. So if this was at all helpful, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and what type of heroes you've chosen to make. In the meantime, I am Nidanoski. If you want more just like this, be subscribed, hit that bell notification, and we'll get them out to you. And as always, have fun.